great to be here. How is everybody? Yeah. We pumped up. I told you I'll be back. And thank you, Eric, for the introduction. You stuffed it up. You said Nick Price. It's Ben Price. Get it right. BenPriceComedy.com. That's the guy. <laughs> anyway, I wasn't even meant to come here to Australia. I was meant to come to Austria, my hometown. I got on the wrong airplane. <laughs> Can't believe it. And, and by the way, don't be alarmed by this. It's not special effects makeup. I had a dispute with the Democrat. <laughs> if you think I look bad, you should see her. It's all good. And I'm jet lagged because I was flying here on the aeroplane and I was watching this movie and it was fantastic because it was a 3D movie on the aeroplane. I'm not sure if you've done it before. There was turbulence and I'm wearing the funny 3D glasses, drinking schnapps and wow, it was so cool. But uh, halfway through the movie, I got up to go to the bathroom. I left the 3D glasses on. And I'm walking down the aisle. I said to this guy, excuse me, do you know where the bathroom is? He said, don't ask me, I'm in the film. <laughs> it was so bizarre, so bizarre that some of you are still thinking about what that was all about. But uh, <laughs> honestly, I'm just excited to be in your country for the Financial Education Summit. Yeah. And uh, it was hard coming here with the guns and uh, bearing arms, you know. Uh, <laughs> But, and it was not just that, the bazooka, the M16, the Uzi 9mm, I mean, the steroids, all, <laughs> this was not a problem, okay? This was fine, it was the bananas, the apples, the apricots, all the foreign fruit. Almost had a big fight with the sniffer dog. Hasta la vista, sniffer dog. But look, it, it's just great to be here. Uh, you guys have had some great speakers. You had Mark Burris, right? Well, Sydney had Mark Burris. We wouldn't have him here because he bore us to tears. <laughs> you know. And uh, I, I think I should be the host of Celebrity Apprentice because, you know, I honestly, it, I think he, when he fires people, he says, you're fired. It's like a girly man. You say, so you're terminated. <laughs> That's the way you do it. See, I'm getting back into the, the show business. I'm getting into acting more. In fact, I was in Expendables with Stallone. Who saw the Expendables? Yeah. Great film. And he asked me, he said, you know, I'm just wondering, you know, if you'd like to do a cameo, you know, my latest movie, you know what I'm saying, you know. He said, I'm too busy for a cameo, but how about a small part? I said, well, whatever. <laughs> But it's wonderful, you know, we, we, in fact, Stallone and I, we're so old now, it's hard to be the action heroes. And he's so old, he's older than me. He was at a funeral the other day and someone said it's hardly worth the trip back home. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, and, and these days, you know, we, we save money on the films because we get the seniors discount card, but it's not so much the steroids we've got to worry about, it's the hemorrhoids we've got to worry about. <laughs> Instead of saying, I'll be back, it's, ah, my back. <laughs> We're doing a sequel to Junior. It's called Senior. We're doing a sequel to The Running Man. It's The Walking Man. It's, it's wonderful. <laughs> Instead of Conan the Barbarian, we, we've softened it down. We're doing Conan the Librarian. <laughs> and I'm the librarian saying, shh, be quiet. <laughs> shh, shut up. Be quiet. Shut up! Get out of here! Get to the chap! Get out of here! <laughs> Giving me a headache. No, it's not a tumor. Be quiet. <laughs> and you'll also be excited to know, yes, we're doing Terminator 5. Woo! Yeah. And in Terminator 5, we travel back in time to the year 1984, where it all began. And it was going to cost millions to create the studio for 1984 you know, because the whole KFC and everything. And so, you know, we had to recreate this set, but then we just found Adelaide. It was perfect. Did nothing. <laughs> if you're from Adelaide in about half an hour, you'll get that joke <laughs> in four years. <laughs> if I offend some of you, it's not my intention because I want to offend everybody. Look, so Terminator 5 is coming, Twins 2, which is known as Triplets, you might have heard, yeah, Eddie Murphy is the triplet. <laughs> He's the real leftover crap because, you know, for me, it was, you know, fantastic because I got back into comedy after a decade. And same with Eddie Murphy. <laughs> it, 
Also, in fact, I think this is my next goal. I would love to be the president. What do you think? Yes. Seriously. I mean, do I do president or should I go back to Terminator 5? <laughs> Terminator 5, president, you know, ruthless, tough, killing machine, or do I do Terminator again? <laughs> it's a difficult decision. <laughs> Anyway, guys, you've been fantastic. And actually, by the way, I think I would be a good president because I'm an actor like Ronald Reagan. You know, I speak English like George W. And there's a bit of Bill Clinton in there, too. <laughs> because I'm a wonderful speaker, right? <laughs> Before I go, I want to promote my latest movie. And it's got all the big stars, Sylvester Sloan. We're going right back to my roots of, you know, classical music in Austria. And we have Bruce Willis in it as Beethoven, Sylvester Stallone is Mozart, and I'll be back. Thank you, guys. Hasta la vista. Thank you.